and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code PULA at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back, one of the Madden Ultimate Team Video guys. And today, I'm going to go over what you need to do with the coins right now before the Team of the Year promo officially drops. And as you guys know, it is dropping this week. The official date still up in the air, as far as I know, as of the time of recording this. But I'd imagine sometime either Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday. So if you're seeing this Monday, it's probably Tuesday or Wednesday. Yeah, guys, it's important. Team of the Year is one of the biggest promos of the year. Now, not biggest promos like content wise, not biggest promo set wise, not biggest promo solo wise. It has the best rewards, but at the end of the day, it's like a, it's a quantity over quality type thing. Like, there's only like one solo sequence, but it is one of the best rewarding solo sequences. There's like one or two sets, but some of the best sets. And there's a lot of players. It's not many drops, but the drops that there are of those players are just amazing players. So I always love the team of the year. One of the biggest things of the year. It's pretty much like 17 weeks of average or subpar team of the weeks all lead up to a banger team of the year. It doesn't even matter who the player is sometimes because either way they're going to be great. The card art's usually really cool. Super excited for that. Team of the Year is much much anticipated. I wish it was a little bit longer. I wish it wasn't so short. Like, playoffs and Team of the Year almost feel rushed. But it is it is what it is. And guys, before we get into the video, make sure down below. Hit that subscribe button. Turn that on, your boys. Come join the family. We're at 17.2K. 20K grind is real. We're aiming for it by the end of February. Hopefully, we can hit that goal. So, if you're new, make sure to sub to the channel. Comment down below if you have any questions and like the video. Can we get 300 likes on this video? That'd be awesome. Now, guys, I am going away to Spain Sunday. So, I'm going to be pre-recording a bunch of videos for... This upcoming week, they're probably seeing this video in. So, you're only going to be in about two videos a day, but I think that should be more than enough just for the time being. And then we'll get back to it, obviously, when I get back. Now, let's get into this video. So, first things first. As you guys know, like I said with the, so the team of the year, when it does drop, there's going to be about 30 plus players. I've said this 100 times. Now, the big thing about this, guys, is for you as a as a coin guy, you know, as a guy who wants to, as, as a no money spent player, as any kind of player, you want to start dropping your weight. Now, in my personal team's case, I don't think it's time. I don't think I have much weight to drop because if you look at it, most cards are not, and the cards that aren't not, like Bo Jackson, is still going to be one of the best running backs for quite a while. So I don't think I don't think Bo Jackson is one of the guys that needs to be sold or Michael Vick for Team of the Year specifically. They're gonna because there's not going to be a mobile quarterback in the Team of the Year promo that's better than Michael Vick. There might be a Russell Wilson, but I don't think he'll be better than Vick unless they give Russell Wilson dash and dead eye with like an 88, 90 speed. I don't know if they'll do that, but if they do that, he might actually end up being better than Vick. But I would hold on to Michael Vick until like Super Bowl promo and then I'd sell him because what's going to kill Michael Vick is going to be the new Lamar Jackson we get for the NFL honors coming to the first week of February. See, but my team, I can't sell much, but pretty much what we want to be doing right now is cutting weight, stacking coins, sniping cards. Now, if you go over to the block, let's see, is it a good time to really be selling a lot of your a lot of your pieces off? I mean, whether or not it's a good time or not, that's what you guys have to understand. The time might suck, but things are only going to get worse. Like that's, that's the one thing I always look at, like, Let's say, wow, I really don't want to spell my trial loans for 20 Like, that's super cheap. But, in a week, it'll be 380 So it's like, okay, I got to cut my losses, right? Now, sometimes I'm stubborn. I'm like, you know what? I'm not, I don't care. I'll keep I don't care. I bought, I bought them for too expensive. I'm not selling them ever. I'm just keeping them. That's, that's a possibility, too. I've done that before, too. Now, as far as Tyrone Champ Bailey, I told you guys, these guys will be around 380 probably after Team of the Year and everything. Just because of... It depends on the overalls, though. If Team of the Year doesn't drop, like, 97. They, Team of the Year doesn't even drop a 97. Probably not, but they has to be 97, I believe, and maybe even a 98. So they do go as far as doing that, then uh, this Champ Bailey and this Terrell Owens should come down to around the 380 range, which is also a great uh, great way to buy them. So I'm just going to say another quick advice, guys. You don't always have to buy the Team of the Year players. You can just buy players right before. Like, if you always if you want to save coins, you can always buy the players that just dropped at the end of a promo, starting into the new promo. So, for example, new players drop... The new cornerbacks probably will be just as good as Champ Bailey. So depending on how the price how the dic the price gets dictated on the auction block, getting this Champ Bailey could easily be the more beneficial option than your Team of the Year cards. Because for some reason, Legends always seem to have better stats than modern day players, even at the same overall, which has been a common trend for quite a while now. Which is again why sometimes you can't always just sell Legends for new uh, new modern drops. Which is why I'm not too concerned about some of the Legends. But some modern players will probably be set down in value just based off the Team of the Year drop. Now, as far as coin stack, I've been saying a million coins is necessary. Now, based on what I've been seeing here and the trend of like how cards get, how cards like the pricing is for new cards, Team of the Year is probably going to be set somewhere between 350k for the 95s, and then all the way up to about 600k for like I'd say somewhere in the 600k range. See, it's weird. I want to say 600k for the 97s, right? But Willis is 600k for 96. But I don't think that's right. I think realistically, 96s are somewhere in the 400k. 
low 500k range. A 97 should be in the 600k range. So I think I think Willis is going to shoot down a value the second team of the year draft. So honestly, anyone has Willis, I think he'd be a good one to probably get rid of at this point. I can't imagine he holds value much longer considering how overpriced he is to begin with. 97s will sit in this range. So if you want, like, and you could probably get 197 and like 195 for that million coins. Maybe 196, depending on the value of the 96. There's going to be a ton of cards now, guys. This is the other thing, like I said. Team of the year, in theory, drops the best overall to best player at almost every position. They at least tie. They're either tie the best player or they are the best player, which is kind of why the market is going to the market's going to get eaten up. And it's not that the market's going to die as a whole, but the current best players at every position are going to go down. And as you know, as a Madden player, sometimes the goal is to always have the best players. So more than likely, there's going to be a lot of teams out there that currently have all the current best players, which means their team could go from this value to this value right in instantly when it drops. And like I said, they do they do announce all the players at one singular time. So you have to remember that when they announce those players, people are going to know they're going to they're gonna pre-sell. So don't think that like you're safe till team of the year. You might want to take advantage of that now because if they announce like, I can't even give you guys a good deal. Let's say Patrick Willis, right? Let's say they announce a, uh, a Bobby Wagner with like 90, 91 speed, like 90, 92 zone. Let's say, like, let's say they did. I don't, Patrick Willis can cards people. Let's say they did. Patrick Willis' price from now to like five five twenty at, at least. That's kind of drop you're going to end up seeing. And there's nothing you can do about it. It won't come back up. It, it just won't because that's it. That's it. The game has moved on. Willis is no longer and will never again be a premier option like that. It's just the way this game works. It's, it's why you're always going to be ready. That's But thanks to YouTube and thanks to people being more aware, people end up pre-selling like a week before. So a lot of Team of the Year selling is going on already, which not not as much as you think. The only reason there's not a lot of Team of the Year selling going on is because people don't really know what's coming yet. And a lot of people are probably in love with their players at this point because everyone's chemmed up teams are probably so lo nice looking at this point. But you have to realize that pre-selling is always the best thing you could do because you're just going to end up taking a big loss in coins. And remember, when that just comes out after this, which is why you also want don't want to really go all in, which is my best my best advice I can give you guys. Don't drop every coin you have on Team of the Year. Because once you do that, then Super Bowl comes out. Then NFL Honors comes out. Then Easter. Then Ultimate Legends. Like, we have so much stuff still. And you're going to definitely want those cards. See, like I said, some Team of the Year cards you can have all year. Like, if there's a 97 overall, Powered Up and Chemnip, you probably will be 99. So you can probably rock out with a 97 overall for the rest of the year. So that kind of guy you can be okay with. Like, a 95 overall, you probably can only use up until right after NFL Honors. So, again, not exactly a guy you want to go all in on, or at least a lot of them. If you want to get one, that's fine. But I wouldn't pick them all up. I just don't think that's the smartest thing you could possibly do with your coin stack. Remember, NFL Honor is going to be crazy expensive, and the Super Bowl might be decently expensive. I mean, I don't think the Super Bowl's never really been too expensive. But the point is that you don't want to just kill everything now, because it's, gonna, it's not that easy to make coins. Like, after, as we get later into the year, it's not the easiest way to, it's not the easiest thing to make coins. They haven't really been giving us any banger house rules. And there hasn't been a level up grind in a little bit. So, obviously, once there's a new level up grind, there'll be a good way to make coins. But there has been no, like, they haven't really increased coin rewards or anything for us this year. It's kind of just been like, if you have them, you have them. If you don't, you don't. There's really been no banger way to make coins. There's been coin methods. And, guys, by the way, coin methods only work when they're first posted. Once you got, once enough people see them, they get killed. So, that's just a quick advice for all you guys who think that what I posted didn't work. It worked until everyone watched. Until the first 100 people watched, without people watched it, and then it didn't work anymore. But that's the point. Like, coin methods only help a certain amount of people until they don't anymore, which does kind of suck. But right now, with the way coins are, you got to be really vigilant with your coin stack. I spent a lot, but that's because I did a pack opening video for you guys, which you'll see at some point on this channel. Uh, one of these days, I was got to sell everything back. I made a decent amount of coins back on that. I got to definitely sell everything. And then once I sell everything, I can try to get my coin stack back up in time for a team of the year. But as far as team of the year goes, guys, what coins are you should we be looking to spend, like, specifically on? I'm telling you, quarterback's probably a position you guys won't want, unless it's Russell Wilson. Halfback, you're probably not really going to want. Bo Jackson's going to be very hard to top. It's very rare they're going to drop a running back that can get to 98, 99 speed. The other guy would probably be... I don't think you're going to want wide receiver. Unless it's a Tyreek Hill, Russell Wilson, they're probably not going to want any of the backfield or the wide receiver core. Tight end, it's got to be Kittle. Linemen, you might want. I mean, NFL 100 linemen are going to be very similar, so it's not really going to make a difference for most people. They're going to be slightly better to some of them, at least. Defensively, though, you might want a lineman. The linemen are usually pretty good. Defensive linemen. You might want a line one linebacker, like an outside, uh, maybe a left outside linebacker for me, and then one cornerback. It really depends. Like, I have, if I have Champ and Dion and Blunt, I'm probably not going to want a cornerback. Like, these legends are just so overpowered this year. They've really made these legends super overpowered. So that pretty much wraps it up, guys. Coin stack a million. Don't spend it all. I will go over things as I get back from my vacation. Sadly, I don't think I'll be here for the day one of it. Make sure to not spend everything. Stay in touch with what you think you need to spend. Clean off some rack space right here for them before the whole market ends up drop, dropping down just because that's the nature of this promo. I'll be ready. It should be sometime next week. 
Hopefully you guys have seen this video before it drops. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn that notify bell, boys. Come join the family. Hope you guys have been enjoying. Comment down below if you have any questions. And make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Can we get to 250 likes this video? That'd be greatly appreciated. I'm out. See you in the next video. Peace.